Hello everybody. Uh, today I would like to discuss uh, the four quadrant operation of uh, electrical drives with a little of animation which I have uh, tried in the PowerPoint presentation. And uh, I would like to understand the four quadrant operation of electric drives with the example of electrical drives. Most of the cases this is generally explained with the ex example of lift or hoist but uh, let's try uh, something different so today i would like to explain the four quadrant operation of electrical drives with the help of electric drive uh, electric vehicles ex uh, or electric cars example so this is the dynamic equation uh, which is uh, we uh, kept in mind whenever we discuss any drive uh, in motion this equation is derived using newton's second law that is net torque is equal to rate of change of angular momentum so what are the four quadrants? The four quadrants of electrical drives or the combination in which an electric drive can operate is, is are, uh, are over here. We generally take a torque on positive x-axis. So this is positive torque, this is negative torque and the speed is on y-axis or a, a positive speed over here, negative speed over here. Now before we go any further, if these are the two axes which are dividing my plane into four parts, then I have to first take the nomenclature that which is positive and which is negative. So for speed control or for uh, the four quadrant operation discussion, positive torque is the torque which is causing motor to move in forward direction. And negative torque means the torque which is opposing the motion. Now what is forward? because forward and reverse is a relative term. So this is something which I have already assumed for my motion. So say I'm moving uh, from one A point to B point that I consider as a forward, then from B to A, it will be reverse motion. So forward motoring is something which I've already uh, assumed. For that particular forwarding motion, if the torque is supporting the motion, that is motor developed torque is uh, supporting the motion, then it is called motoring. If motor is developing torque to oppose the motion it is called braking right so with that nomenclature with that convention i have four combination torque positive speed torque positive so we have a first quadrant known as forward motoring when i have speed positive but torque opposing the motion is forward braking when i have both torque and speed negative it is called reverse motoring and when I have torque positive but speed negative, it is called reverse braking. Now let's try to understand uh, the each each quadrant with a little exa example of electric car. Assume anti-clockwise rotations as a positive speed uh, direction. Motor torque supporting is motoring. Motor torque opposing motion is called braking. Right? So this is the convention for us. Now this is a motion on level track. Now let's start with the first quadrant. So first quadrant is when uh, you are moving the car on a level track or on an uphill. Uphill will give us a better indication. When car tries to move uphill, the gravity or low torque tries to pull it down. That means because of this uh, low torque, low torque is acting in a clockwise direction which will uh, bring that uh, car down if nothing is done. This motor is producing sufficient torque so car is able to move up and so motor torque is in the anti-clockwise direction and so as the rotation of the wheel or motor uh, in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is the example of first quadrant operation. When car is moving upward in this fashion with the uh, assumed uh, uh, positive direction this is called first quadrant operation torque is positive speed is also positive now what is second quadrant then so in second quadrant the same car is moving downhill so the direction of rotation remains same anti-clockwise but at this time when tries when car tries to move downward the gravity is pulling it in the same direction that means the load torque is acting in the direction of rotation and uh, at that time motor is developing torque to oppose this it is producing braking so that it can control the dangerously high uh, speed which it can achieve if nothing is done 
so when motor is uh, opposing this forward motion it is called forward braking so forward braking is as you can see over here motor moving down from uphill with the anti clockwise rotations or from right to left linear motor uh, movement as shown so here load is uh, supporting the uh, motion and motor torque is trying to control the dangerous high speed now third quadrant the third quadrant is the situation when i have i want to move in a reverse direction so compared to my forward uh, direction of rotation now my motor is moving in opposite directions so i'll consider it as a opposite or minus speed and as torque is also supporting the minus speed so it is minus torque so here the torque is not breaking but it is negative to support negative speed so when i assume the car is moving up from the reverse direction it is called reverse motoring as shown so reverse motoring is nothing but car moving in a reverse direction in this fashion so here again load is uh, acting downwards so it is opposing the motion motor is motoring torque or tm is supporting motion so this is a motoring operation but in a reverse direction so this quadrant is also known as reverse motoring and now the last quadrant known as fourth quadrant so fourth quadrant assume that in the reverse direction you want to uh, bring down this electric car so when it tries to come down the gravity is basically pulling it downwards so it is supporting motion so load torque is acting in the same direction as that of the motor and motor torque is opposing the motor to avoid dangerous high speeds right so movement is in reverse direction and motor is opposing or applying brakes that that's why it is called reverse braking it is also known as the fourth quadrants it is also known as reverse generation second quadrant and fourth quadrant are also known as braking modes or generating modes so this is the fourth quadrant so likewise four quadrants of electrical uh, drives you can explain uh, with the example of electric drives i hope you have liked my video thank you for watching